Hey guys, welcome to another Vlogmas episode. We actually didn't get to vlog yesterday, which means that there wouldn't be an upload for today. However, we pre-filmed a Christmas gift guide a couple of days ago, which is actually perfect because we can upload it now, which means we're not missing an upload. Um, so True and I filmed a Christmas gift guide and we talked through some of our gift options. So I'm gonna place it here and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm right now just about to head out to dinner, which will be in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the gift guide. We're going to be doing our Christmas gift guide. I have True here. Yes, it's me. Yeah, so I thought it would be good to get like POV from a guy's point of view and then what a girl would want. So this Christmas gift guide should be useful for you guys and girls out there who need to buy gift Christmas gifts. And I think we picked three to four options each to talk about because I feel like I could, it could be endless. Yeah. So we've had to like narrow it down to three to four um, gift ideas. So I'm going to let you go first, True. First gift idea. I would say headphones. So I've got this um, Sony WH <laughs> Sony WH thousand X M four. We'll shorten it for M four. I have no idea what you're saying by so, the way. <laughs> no, this is just the name of the okay. headphone. So this one is the best, like lead, industry leading at the moment um, in terms of headphones. Um, the noise cancellation is really good. I actually have the previous version, so the M three. So this is M4, M3, um, which is also actually still on sale, so you can actually buy it, it's cheaper than the M4. Mm -hmm. So it's a cheaper alternative to the M4 if you do want to buy a gift. So I've had this for over a year now and I literally use it every single day. The noise cancellation is really good. So it is good, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> the noise cancellation is really good. Really good. <laughs> because <laughs> as soon as that's on, True will not hear me and I can yeah. be screaming his name down. I could be getting murdered. <laughs> but he will not, he will have no idea. It's really good for someone who, I think just anyone in general, who enjoys music, watching videos. Um, the noise cancellation is a plus if you're in like a public area, like you're studying in the library or a pub. Not mm -hmm. a pub. <laughs> that was so random. You don't even go to pubs. Not a pub. What's <laughs> it studying in the pub. <laughs> a coffee, no. coffee shop. It's really late guys. <laughs> so yeah, these are really good. The price for this one was $200. And fifty nine ninety nine, and I think it was ten pounds cheaper on Amazon. So, yeah, so we'll two hundred and sixty pounds, two hundred and fifty pounds. Um, so that's the Sony M four, but the M three I think because you know with any any tech, the previous year's one always go cheaper. Um, so I think M four M three you can get for a hundred and sixty. What's um, that like? How that's yeah, so, good. so you, you have two options. You can go for the M4, which is probably £100 more expensive than the M3. So the M3 is a very good headphone in itself. Um, or if you want to go for a more expensive option, then definitely go for the M4. Can you put them on to demo what it looks like? Oh yeah, I forgot to say, it's also very comfortable to wear. I can wear this yeah, you smell for like, like fish. hours. Like normally I edit for like five hours, six hours. You stink. Huh? And I think that's a good gift actually. Um, it's quite it's a unisex gift as well because tech yeah. is not just for guys. Yeah. Okay, so mine is I'm gonna start off with the jewelry because I feel like jewelry is one of those things that is the best gift for any occasion for like birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas mm. um, because it's just a very sentimental piece. And I feel like every year for my birthday you always buy me a piece of jewelry. Yeah, like this. I always go for like a piece that's memorable to that occasion. Yeah, and um, I and I love that because every time I like I build up, because jewelry is something you build up. It's not like you have one and then you get like, with headphones, if you mm. give me a headphone, I won't in, like use both headphones. I'll, that would be my upgrade. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Whereas with jewelry, it's like you stack it, you build it up. You can ha you can never have too much jewelry, um, which is why it's one of my favorite gifts. And I feel like it's a really special gift, especially when you can do things like personalization, engraving. So I'm gonna talk you through some of my favorite pieces of jewelry that I think would make for perfect gifts for your loved ones. Um, and I'm gonna talk about pieces that I kind of wear every day because these are the pieces I get most use out of. And I'm gonna talk about Missouri, which if you guys are familiar with the channel, you know I rave on and on about Missouri jewelry. They're one of my favorite jewelry brands for everyday fine jewelry pieces. Um, they believe like fine jewelry should be accessible and should be available for everyone. So they don't have really extortionate prices. I feel like their pricing is really reasonable. Um, and it's a brand that I genuinely wear every day. Like these hoop earrings, 
I yeah, remember, like, literally lives in them. So I'm going to talk through each piece to hopefully give you guys some inspiration and I'm going to link everything down below. I really do love Missouri as a brand. They're, they have like a 75% women team. They use amazing quality um, materials. They use 14K gold or 18k gold of a may which is like a really thick layer of gold coating um and they also use diamonds which are ethically sourced so i do really love Missouri. honestly they're one of my favorite brands to work with so let's start with the chunky hoops as i said one of my most worn jewelry pieces it's an everyday piece so if you want to gift someone and you want to see that gift on that person all the time these are honestly the best yeah. and then speaking about everyday jewelry i have on this necklace this is my large diamond necklace it's just one of those pieces that you have it on and you never really need to take it off it's so dainty so elegant and it just goes with everything and i think just a single diamond necklace is such a special gift. Like I would be so happy for this, with this, yeah. for like a birthday, anniversary, Christmas gift. So this necklace, um, so it's diamonds and gold, and this is 900 pounds, this is a large diamond necklace. Um, it's actually a really beautiful size. And it, on the majority size, 900 pounds, but the retail is over 2,000. So like if you were buying from like a typical jeweler's, this necklace for 2,000 pounds, and that's what I love about majority. It's actually crazy, like you can get someone a piece of diamond for Christmas. Yeah, that's, it's oh like, my God. That's, that's gonna be memorable, I think. Yeah, no, and you have it forever. Yeah, forever. This is the thing, for me, I'm a very sentimental person. I'm all about forever pieces. I really care about having something and using it a lot. So that's a diamond necklace that I wear a lot. And then rings, I always have <laughs> rings on. Like, I feel naked leaving the house without rings on. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the diamond cluster ring, which is this beautiful cluster of diamonds on this gold band this ring is a showstopper every time i wear it i get questions on it it's basically it could be an engagement ring yeah it, isn't it it catches a lot of eyes it catches a lot of eyes it's so so beautiful i feel like it definitely could be an engagement <laughs> ring hint, hint. a diamond cluster ring i think it's just really it it makes your hand look beautiful um and you don't need to have anything else on it like i've kept this hand really simple so i've got my diamond cluster ring and then i've got this single stacking gold ring on my thumb and I like to keep it simple when I wear this ring because I feel like this ring does all the talking. This ring is £2,100, but guess what? The retail, like if you were to buy from another jewellers, for example, would be like around £6,000. Damn. Yeah. Wow. That's what I love about the website, guys. Check out the website because I actually find it entertaining. Whenever I get new pieces, I go on the website, see how much Missouri sell it for, and then they give the estimated retail thing. And it's just crazy. And this is why I love Missouri so much. And they say, buy jewellery for your damn self. If you like something that you, you see in this gift, gift guide, treat yourself. Like, yeah. I'm where firm believes in treating ourselves, <laughs> clearly. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need someone to tell us, but I'm telling you guys, like, you don't need to wait for someone to give you a gift. Like, you should treat yourself. Like, think about how much you do for yourself, how hard you work. And I really believe in, like, just giving yourself. Like, whatever we show you, if you like it, don't you don't need to wait for someone to buy it for you. Buy it for yourself. So, on this hand, I have the Parve Diamond Signet Ring, which, again, is such a beautiful ring. And it's actually a little bit more of an affordable ring if you did want to get someone a diamond ring. But, like, the cluster might be out of your budget or you just want something a little bit different. This is such a beautiful ring. And it's so nice stacked up. Then all also on its own it's just as beautiful and then i've got the charlotte bold ring and i feel like when you're stacking it's good to have a mixture of like textures and different shapes so the bold ring works really nicely because you've got this really dainty fine diamond pieces and then you've got the thick kind of bold ring and i love that look and then underneath it i have the diamonds team ring which is kind of like half of the band has diamonds and then the back of it is clear so you don't have to worry about banging your diamonds against things um, and it's just really beautiful. I feel like this works together so nicely. And the thing I love about second rings is again, how I was thinking about sentimental gifts, you can build upon it. So next year, yeah. if you buy me this ring, next year you can get me the bold ring. Then maybe for an anniversary, you can get me the, so you know, you can build it up. Mm. And that's the thing that I love about jewelry. And then on my index finger, I have a really simple dainty ring. This is a diamond open ring. So it's an open ring in gold. And then you have two little diamonds at either end and it's just like an open ring and this is also a good ring i feel like if you're not sure about sizing because it's open it's open to flexibility i can wear it on different fingers so it's quite good because i can mix it with different fingers whereas yeah. when you get a thicker ring you're kind of limited to just that one finger that it fits 
but because it's open you can kind of move the ring around and stack it but yeah those are some of the, my favorite pieces that I wear a lot of you guys will already know because you probably see me wearing it all the time and yeah I just think jewelry is such a special gift I wish you wore jewelry because I would definitely gift you pieces yeah <laughs> guys nice... comment down below what jewelry do you think I need <laughs> you know Miss Jewelry do you men's jewelry oh yeah okay, just have maybe, a look maybe this Christmas Ooh. you can stack me up damn <laughs> So I'm gonna link all of these pieces in the description box down below. So if you are interested in any of them, in treating yourself or buying for a loved one, it will all be linked down below. Right, so the next gift, sticking on to the theme of tech, Apple AirTags. So this narrows uh, the gifting to iPhone users or Apple users. So it comes in a pack of four for 99 pounds, or you can get one for 29 pounds. And this is especially useful for someone who loses uh, the keys a lot or misplaces the keys. Personally, I'm going to use it to put in um, suitcases for when we travel. And I think that's just like for peace of mind so you know exactly where your things are at yeah. all times. Especially when you have a lot of luxury items. Yeah, especially when you have luxury things. items. So you can actually attach these uh, air tags into like a clip. I think they, they sell separately. So you, oh. there's actually like a Hermes one. No, are you meant to be yeah, serious? No, seriously, there's an Hermes one. I have like Hermes and Apple got collaboration because they do the watch straps as well. Yeah, so you can get an Hermes strap. I don't know how, what, how much it is. It's more expensive than the actual <laughs> yeah, tags probably. themselves. Um, and then you can put that ta tag attachment on like, like key bags, ring. key rings, mm -hmm. uh, suitcases, uh, on a person. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I was saying if you're going to track someone, you can just put it. Yeah, but I feel like it's quite dangerous because people can actually do that without knowing. No, so if you there's slip actually, it into your pocket. There's actually safeguards against that oh okay um where it, it will notify your phone if someone else's air tag is near your phone oh. for too long um okay so you can't so there's a safeguards against stalking so <laughs> okay <laughs> because i legit was thinking like people could yeah. just stalk so yeah. how do you set up you set up with your iphone your iphone just has constant like yeah so on it. i actually don't know about that one okay we have to try and use that uh, i got the air tags idea from cassie yeah. She's the one who I th Cassie thought. Um, she's the one who I first saw talk about using that to track your luggage, and I just think it's a great idea. This is a Probably practical gift. Very practical gift. Yeah. Um, but also, it's a luxury gift because you don't yeah. really buy this for yourself. You can make it luxury by buying the Hermes strap as well, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay, so next up for me is fragrance. So I feel like this might be a little bit more of a personal one. You kind of would have to know the person or kind of know what they like, what kind of scents they like. But I have two different kind of smells. These are two of my favorite perfumes. Um, so I'll talk for each one and I'll talk about like generally in terms of perfumes why I think they're a good gift. But I'll start off with this one. This is Penhaligon's Changing Constant. It's part of their Portraits collection. And this has been my go-to scent. For the past few months, now that it's gone to the colder season, I feel like as seasons change, I change my scents. Um, but this one is a very warming, sweet scent. It has vanilla, salted caramel. It's a really just like a sweet, warm scent. I love it so much. And I think the bottle is just really beautiful. I think that's why it makes such a perfect gift. It's It feels special. Yeah. It's solid. Um, and it's a beautiful piece to have on your tabletop. And I think... Things like that make it the perfect gift. Not only is it something you can use, it's a beautiful scent. It's just beautiful in itself. And you can also get it personalized. Wow. Oh, I should have brought down your, your Halfetti because I bought True for our anniversary, the Penhaligon's Halfetti scent, and I got our anniversary date engraved on the side. Um, so you can get your bottle engraved, which I think is such a good idea. Yeah. Because again, personalization makes you a perfect gift. Another one I would suggest if you're a guy, or for a guy, but it's a unisex scent again, is Halfetti. That's the one that True uses, but I also use it. My mum uses it. She has her own one, not True's one. <laughs> <laughs> but mom, yeah, <laughs> she uses Halfetti. Um, it's like a really nice oody scent, very rich smelling. The thing with scents, this is why I feel like they make good gifts, is that you associate memories to smells. Mm. So like if you got to me for Christmas and I wore it, I would every time I wear it, I would remember that this is my Christmas gift. You associate the scents because I associate this scent to when I actually visited the Penhagen store, I smelled it and they gifted it to me. And that scent association, like I always remember it. And then the second scent I want to talk about is a more recent one. Um, this is by X Nilo. X Nilo. Uh, it's the Fleur Narcotique scent, um, and I really love this. This is a really fresh floral. It's got jasmine, lychee. It's a very sweet scent, but very fresh, clean floral. 
I'm really enjoying this scent. So I thought I'd bring in like a contrasting scent, some like, cause that's very sweet evening. And this is still sweet, but a very fresh, floral, clean, more daytime. Um, and also the thing I love about this brand is that I, I didn't even know about it until recently. It's a very like, it's a really well-established good brand, but not many people know it. So I feel like that's quite a nice special gift. Um, so if you know someone who likes sweet floral scents, this is a really special gift. And again, the bottle is beautiful. It's a clear bottle, glass, and then you have this beautiful gold top. Yeah, and then quickly, just because it links to kind of scents, um, I think candles are a great Christmas gift. I say it all the time, but whenever people ask me what I want for gifts, I always say I don't want anything, but when they really pester me, I'm always like candles because you can never go wrong with candles. Um, so today we picked up this special candle from Diptyque. We were just walking past, like we knew we were making this gift guide and I knew I was gonna include candles and I have lots that I could include. And then I saw this one, I was like, this is just perfect. This is the candle, we'll, insert, we'll have to insert a shot of us when we've lit yeah. to see the full effect. So basically it's the base candle, this is a very popular Diptyque scent. It was actually my first Diptyque scent, I believe. And then it comes with this candle topper. I don't know what the exact name for it is. Yeah, but it, it is candle. Yeah, so it sits on top of the candle. It's really, really nice. Like we saw it in action in Selfridges and we were just drawn to it immediately. When you light it up at night, so if you're in your bedroom and the lights turn off and you light it up, you'll see on the ceiling the movement. And I think it's just such a nice kind of warming gift. You know, when it gets, it's getting darker now. I love lighting a candle. We have a couple lighting right now. Um, and I feel like a candle is just such a nice thing to burn when you get home. It makes you feel comfy, homey vibes. And then the thing with this gift is obviously once the candle runs out, Number one, like the thing I love about Diptyque is that you can reuse the jars. You can use it for makeup brush holding, toothbrush holder. Because it's a very sleek, nice design and it's a really good quality glass, you can reuse it. But then also the candle topper you can use on your next candles, which I love. So it's a gift that keeps on giving. I would be so happy with that. Yeah, that's they, so cool. Yeah, like you were you were even really excited when you saw it. And they also have the mini versions, which are just as cute. So it's the mini candle version, then you have the mini candle topper. Um, so yeah, I love this as a gift. Cool, so the next gift idea that I think, like me personally, I would really like is a wallet. I've had mine now from Burberry for a couple of years now. And yeah. I got for you, it's a birthday gift. Yeah. In terms of like use, wallets is something that you use every single yeah. day. So there's the Grainy Leather International Bifold Wallet from Burberry, um, which is 280 pounds. <laughs> I actually have my Burberry wallet here. This is actually how many years old? I'm not sure, it looks very, okay. It looks very used and- I feel like this is, this is a little hint to me maybe for Christmas. Very used, um, but the quality <laughs> is insane. Yeah. Like, I can still use this for like a couple of years. And I'll okay, still be that's happy good to know. <laughs> you think you'll still be happy with it? <laughs> so one of the things I like about this Burberry wallet is that you can get the uh, initials of the person or any special three letter uh, initial. Or number. Or number. If there's like, a three number. Yeah, I'm sure you can Three know. characters. Yeah, you can get initials <laughs> written on there, um, which is really cool um, and really personal as well. So if your partner <laughs> has a battered wallet and is due for an upgrade, Definitely look out for this uh, wallet uh, as an option. And I think that's the thing with gifts, it's all about like luxury. Because gifts are things that you wouldn't typically buy yourself. So it's nice to get something special. So for example, like how you said, you're not gonna upgrade your wallet because you don't feel the need to. Yeah. But then it's nice to get as a gift. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's really nice. It's very well noted that you have a battered wallet. <laughs> Thank you. Lastly, this is actually a gift that True got for me. If you guys watch Vlogmas Day 7. Um, and I feel like I can't not include bags in a Christmas gift guide. Because bags, bags yeah. and me are just a thing. And I think this is actually a perfect bag to include for this gift guide. And the packaging, guys. Oh, yeah. Very Can we Christmassy. Just, this is, imagine this on the Christmas tree. Because that's, yeah, that's this is a thing of luxury, don't you wrap it? Yeah. This under the Christmas tree is stunning. Like, it's an eye catcher. Um, so yeah, so True got this for me as a present, which is so, so sweet. And this is the bag. So it's the YSL, I actually even know the name of this bag. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm gonna put it here. True's gonna put it there. Um, so it's this YSL faux croc bag with gold hardware. Now let me tell you why I think this is a really good Christmas gift bag. Because there are so many bags I could have picked. Um, first of all, the bag itself is a very, I feel like, practical bag. It's a shoulder bag, fits under your arm really nicely, 
has the buckle here so you can adjust the strapness if you want to make it a bit higher up you can if you're smaller so it's got an easy access so you just unclip the bag and then you have access to the bag i love the design of it it's very sleek which makes it a nice gift because you can't really go wrong this is the thing when you go for things that are kind of simple sleek not too much going on it's quite hard to get it wrong and it's a timeless bag so i know right now this bag is very on trend everyone has it but then when that trend dies down it's just a simple black shoulder bag you're never gonna go wrong with it and then the next thing the next reason why i think it's a really good gift is the the pricing so designer bags are obviously more expensive they're they've got a high price point and i think the price of this bag is in a good region so it's 1500 yeah I, I believe it's in it 1500 and 10 and 10 don't forget like. the 10 which i think is a decent price for a designer bag and this is perfect for someone's first designer bag yeah um so this one is actually the dark green it kind of looks black um i have a lot of black bags which is why true went for the dark green and it's actually very beautiful um but i feel like if it was someone's first bag you could go for the black one the white one there's a lot of neutral colors in this bag um and i feel like this would just be the most perfect christmas gift ever yeah you can't go wrong because it's just yeah, it's a luxury bag yeah, I think overall, like the packaging, mm -hmm. everything is like so luxurious. Yeah. For a very decent price point for luxury. Yeah, for luxury bag. Yeah. yeah. Because a Chanel bag now is like six thousand pounds. Yeah. Can, can you imagine like your daughter or your girlfriend <laughs> or your wife unboxing this on Christmas yeah. Day? How special that would be. Yeah, because when I unboxed it, like I had a feeling I knew what it was because we went shopping and I obviously yeah. liked it. But like it was still so special, even knowing what was potentially in that bag. When I walked into the room and I just saw the gold Saint Laurent bag, I was like, wow. Yeah, this is definitely eye catching. Yeah, I love the Christmas. Like packaging. if you buy this, you will probably have the best present. People are gonna just room. people are just gonna go now and buy, ask to buy the Saint Laurent gold bag and then stick whatever they want in there. But yeah, I think this bag is just perfect and I get a lot of questions on like what's a good first time bag um, and it always depends on your budget but I feel like 1500 is a good kind of in between price range. It's not too expensive but it's not really like cheap. Um, it's quite a good price and it's for a timeless bag which can be worn day to night. We don't have to have it here but have you thought of anything else that you would think is a good gift? For non-materialistic people, I think experiences like spa days. Oh yeah. Um, perfect for like parents or mm -hmm. um, someone who needs it. Experiences are definitely something to consider as well for Christmas. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's such a, and I feel like especially at the end of the year, like a spa treat. Yeah. I would love that as a gift. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Christmas guide segment. I would love to hear your Christmas suggestions in the comments below because I feel like there's obviously so many options and I feel like other people would like to see it too. So maybe we can have like a little forum in the comments. So yeah, definitely more on the luxurious side. Yeah. So. I think we've got a good range. We've there's got candles. Good range. Candles yeah. are good. It's Christmas, guys. It's time to spend money. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, um, as, as always, everything will be linked in the description box down below. We'll link all the pieces that we spoke about. And yeah, let's carry on with the vlog.